Today, I'm going to tell you about the unsolved murder of Tanya Rush, a 39-year-old mother of three who was brutally killed and stuffed into a black suitcase that was dumped near a highway in Long Island. Who killed Tanya Rush and why? Is her killer still out there? Or could he be the same person who is responsible for the infamous Gilgo Beach serial killings? Tanya Rush was a kind, funny, and caring woman who loved her three daughters and was known as a great cook and caretaker. She lived in Brownsville, Brooklyn, a neighborhood plagued by poverty, drugs, and violence. Tanya had fallen into hard times and developed a bad drug habit that led her to prostitution to support her addiction. She often worked near the Linden and Galaxy Hotels or near new lots in Pennsylvania Avenues. On June 23, 2008, around 3 a.m., Tanya was seen on surveillance footage inside the elevator of her apartment building at 345 Livonia Avenue with a man and a woman. Another camera showed them leaving a side entrance of the building. The man walked to the right while Tanya went to the left, toward the street where the elevated train ran. That was the last time anyone saw her alive. Five days later, on June 28, 2008, a road cleaning crew on the Southern State Parkway in North Belmore made a gruesome discovery. They found a black canvas suitcase near the South Newbridge Road exit ramp that contained the dismembered body of Tanya Rush. Her head, arms, and legs had been cut off and were never found. The police interviewed many drug dealers that Tanya bought narcotics from but they turned up no clues from them. They also tried to identify and locate the man and the woman who were seen with Tanya on the elevator footage. But they never found them either. The police wondered if Tanya was killed in Brooklyn, or if she was picked up by someone who drove her to Long Island and murdered her there. They also speculated if she was a victim of a serial killer who preyed on sex workers. In fact, Tanya's murder has some similarities with the Gilgo Beach serial killings, a series of unsolved murders of at least 10 people whose remains were found along Ocean Parkway near Gilgo Beach in Suffolk County between 2010 and 2011. Most of the victims were women who worked as online escorts and were strangled before being dumped in burlap sacks in the brush near the highway. The police have recently arrested an architect named Rex Hewerman as a suspect in three of those murders, but he has not been charged with Tanya's murder. However, some investigators believe that he could be involved in her case as well, since he lived in Massapequa Park, which is not far from where Tanya's body was found. Tanya's murder is not the only one of its kind with a connection to Long Island. Just a year before, in March 2007, another black suitcase with a woman's torso washed up on a beach in Mamaroneck, Neck, Westchester County. The unknown victim's clothing, a velvety nightgown, t-shirt, and sweatpants, was stuffed into the suitcase. Two weeks later, the woman's legs crossed Long Island Sound and washed up on Long Island's North Shore. One leg in Cold Spring Harbor and the other in Cove Neck. The police have not been able to identify this woman or her killer either. Tanya's family and friends are still hoping for justice and closure after 15 years of agony and uncertainty. They remember Tanya as more than just her addiction or her occupation. They remember her as a loving mother, daughter, sister, and friend who deserved better than to die so horribly and be discarded like trash. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more crime scene mysteries. Until next time, stay safe and stay curious.